What is up, beautiful YouTube? My name is Jurtastic, and welcome to another episode of 5M Script Showcases, where today we are going to be showcasing Zerio Radio, which is, in my opinion, one of the best in-game 5M radios out there. We're going to show you how it works in-game, show you the files, and then rate how easy or how difficult it is to install and get it going. Let's get it started. All right, before we look at the files, let's take a look at the radio itself. There it is. First of all, one thing I do want to note is um, and, and his new update, as you can see right here, the radio actually reflects what it looks like here. So you don't have that that botchy looking radio. So that's a pretty cool feature that I wanted to kind of showcase to you guys first. Now, let's take a look at the radio itself. The radio itself is very, very nice, very, very convenient. And my opinion, once again, is the best radio on 5m out there i actually like it so much i bought it twice one for our 5pd server which is a standalone version and one for a qb server um which is obviously the qb version now with that being said uh it's pretty standard forward here you got uh volume up volume down you gotta turn on and off button you got your status it shows you if you're in a car on foot you got your um uh, your location and so on and so forth there are channels that you can put as your favorite as you can see frequency 84 is my favorite because that's a frequency we use for pursuits and actually you know what for the sake of the showcases i can do this and i can also show you guys yep you can also make it really big if you want i guess i don't want it that big but yeah you can allow drag here we go we'll just put it right here for the sake of this showcase so as you can see in the settings you can go on anonymous uh dark mode light mode member list that shows you in the top right corner there's nobody in the server but me right now because it's not patrol hours for us and and you obviously can do the size and you can do drag and you can use mouse and set your call sign so that's what it is now as far as the connect what's nice about this one is you could actually use your your num uh, numpad for it so you can use that as well or your num um your number uh, keys on top of the keyboard um you can connect to different channels you can blacklist channels you can do all this stuff for for us for example let's say we use a channel frequency of 80 for regular patrol but when somebody goes on pursuit we'll go in channel frequency 84. you can actually because there is a uh, a change radio command right there's a change radio command so now i'll put me in 84. what you could do in the console is bind that to that so like let's say i'm not gonna do it now because i already have it but you can what you could do is um you could type like bind keyboard whatever letter you want let's just say you want to do q uh, and you could put uh in in quotations change radio 84. so that means now if like let's say channel 84 for us is a pursuit channel when i'm on a pursuit instead of having to type change radio 84 instead of having to come in here and click change radio 84 you can just do that because it's essentially a command and then boom you're all done for it uh the quality of it it does make let me see if i can uh let me see if you guys can hear it let me turn this up for a second it does make you see it does make the radio clicks as well which is very very cool and it does give you that radio kind of effect sound when somebody's speaking which is also very very cool so uh very unique in QB version, you can limit channels, which ones are meant for police, which ones are meant for fire, which ones are meant for this, and which ones are meant for SIV. So in that sense, it's very, very cool. So we talked enough about the radio. Now let's dive in and talk about uh, the, the, the files. Okay, now let's take a look at the files, the configuration menu uh, for, or the configuration, Lua, sorry, for the script. I am going to be using the QB core version because most of you guys uh, are going to the standalone one is pretty self-explanatory, but the QB Go version is going to be similar to ESX version where it has limitations. As you can see here, those channels basically means that only this job can join them. Pretty easy to set up. Like if I wanted to set up another channel, for example, like 86 and put EMS join it, we can do that as well. You can even go specific by gangs and you can go specifically by Discord roles. So if you want a staff channel, there it is. Now let's keep going down. This radio uh, uses either pma voice or mumble voip for us it's pma voice so no one of those is required now this is very very interesting right here the config open type what does this mean this basically means it determines how you want the players to acquire the radio you can do a command you can do a keybind you can do a control by press of a button for us 
I want cops to acquire the radio from the armory. I don't want players to acquire the radio by buying it. So therefore, I have it set as item. Disable an item is pretty self-explanatory here. And configure item, what kind of item it is, is radio. And the key bind is here, which you can also change the key bind in your in-game 5M control settings. But there it is right here. Now, this is as easy as it gets for this. And you can obviously change the names up here and change it to the jobs that you would like. All right, now let's talk about the grading framework. Well, this one has a standalone version, ESX and QB core version, so all of them. Difficulty installing, I would say pretty damn easy to install. However, uh, some I did have an issue where I, you needed to have a one sync infinity, not legacy at first, but Zerio um, or Zario, sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, He's really, really good. He's one of the best um, su supports for devs, I think. And by the way, I'm not getting paid or getting like uh, free scripts from him by saying this. It's created by Zerio. Zerio, sorry, who also has other really good scripts. Some of them are for free as well. And is this paid or free? No, this is paid. And the price is, I think, a pretty reasonably priced for what it is. He's just released a 2.0 version of this radio. Basically overhauled everything. So is this a script worth getting? absolutely you should it is in my opinion the best 5m in game radio out there with that being said this has been 5m script showcases by your boy jertastic if this video helped you out like the button subscribe for more of this series and if you have any questions about this let me know in the comment section below and if you have some maybe some troubleshooting questions about this i can help you out otherwise i can just refer you to the right sources all right guys with that being said my name is jertastic i'll see you guys